today we are going to be ranking every single legendary skin and it's not going to be like a tier list format because like there's no tier list thing it's fine i'm just going to go through every single legendary skin and give it like a rating from s to f tier simple as that we're just going to look through all of them and it's going to be it's going to be sick we'll go in alphabetical order of the legends so we'll start with bangalore and we're going to use like uh, the reason why i'm not using the actual game is because i don't own every single legendary uh, skin in game i don't i just don't i'm not the kind of guy i should but i don't let's start the first skin in this whole thing is the enforcer skin i actually never really liked this bangalore skin i mean there was like this notorious thing where everyone's like yo bangalore has whack skins and this is one of the main reasons why bangalore's skins have been whack yeah this is this one's gonna be a d tier dude without a doubt same thing with this one officer williams it's a little bit cooler officer williams is a c tier for me dude now this one's actually not too bad oh right, this one's called space walker this one's has a little bit more lore behind it and stuff this one's like an also like a high c tier for me this one's a lot better because it has like the mask and it, it just it, it just has a lot more going for it i think it's like pretty hype that she has this mask but her hair still hops out and stuff so i would actually give this one a clean b tier for me okay now here's where bangalore skins finally start getting good oh my god this skin the, the uh, viceroy bangalore skin dude this skin is so clean finally changed her hair up it changed her aesthetic is, is not this like army person is anymore it's like actually trying to do something a little bit different is it my favorite skin in the world she has better ones that come up later but i definitely think this is like a, a solid low a tier for sure okay then we got full metal jacket kind of a step down. I think the fit looks cool and the visor is okay, but it is a step down. I'm going to have to give this a B tier. Yeah. These are all just like reskins and stuff. It's a decent reskin of that one. So I would also keep it in beats here for the most part. It's nothing too special, but they're just reskins, you know? Oh, here we go. This is, in my opinion, Bangalore's first S tier skin. The Outland Warrior. Like it just screams King's Canyon. It's got the feathers on the shoulders. Her hair matches the feathers. The whole fit is just very, it's just really well designed in general. Like when you're rocking this Bangalore skin, you feel badass as hell dude straight up yeah this is my first s tier bangalore skin without a doubt uh, a little bias here you know la catrina mexican S tier, dude. It's so clean. This is literally such a dope skin. And I wish they made more like the Los de los Muertos type style skins for other legends in the future. Cause like, I think it looks clean, like having like the skull painting on your on your outfit and your skins. S tier as hell, dude. S tier as hell. The Arizona Ice Tea reskin. The original one was like a D tier for me, but this one definitely bumps it up to a B tier. Cause I think it's just funny. Like I think it's hilarious. It literally looks like you're like an Arizona Sprite. <laughs> it looks like you're an Arizona Ice Tea. You know what I mean? This is B tier because no, you know what? Let's make it T tier here you guys get it <laughs> f tier easiest f tier first f tier in the, of the day dude stay frosty bangalore skin disgusting look at look at this what is this god it's one of the worst skins ever designed without a singular doubt it's very rare for me to find a christmas skin that's like really evergreen like it, it works year round and stuff you know but this is just f tier dude i feel like this one has too much going for it was it a killing machine it's not her worst it's just not her best i would say b tier do with that as you will uh this is just another reskin this is c tier though it's like a, a green screen Green, green. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 this is C tier for me, dude. This is the Karen one, the Sky Marshall, aka Karen Bangalore. That's a C tier for me. Her haircut is so, her haircut single handedly. Like, this would have been like a high B tier if it was just like the fit and everything. But the fact that you got the Karen haircut, bro, yikes. Remember that the La Catrina? So, what made La Catrina really good is lost in this skin. And so, I would say this is like a, a B tier skin, honestly. The color doesn't really work. It clashes a little bit. It's still a decent skin overall. But yeah, it loses the essence of what made La Catrina so good. And so, for that reason, and I'm out. Uh, so this skin is pretty cool. It's like that futuristic aesthetic, like Jetsons vibes. You feel me? Like, is my age showing? I've never even watched the Jetsons. I know of it. You know, it's like Flintstones. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Got a little bit of a futuristic vibe. I would give it a B tier, honestly. Yo, S tier as hell, bro. This this fit is so good, dude. This what's this one called? R Radical action. It's literally Bangalore looking like a GI Joe. Like, if, if Bangalore was an action figure, a GI Joe character, this would be this. And I love this skin it's like the coolest one that she has it came out when she got her heirloom as well i love the hair like the red on it the whole fit looks cool uh, i was just a reskin of a of the crimson queen and honestly an even better reskin than the original so i would give this s tier i'm gonna keep that as s tier dude uh and this one is the newest one that came out for the genesis i think it's i think it's fine like it's like a, it's like a what's it called uh decorated line i would give this about like a tier bloodhound time bloodhound has some banger skins we're gonna see a lot of s tier here going plague doctor is sick it works 
works very well. I would give this one A tier. I'm actually a big fan of the Plague Doctor aesthetic. This is a little bit of a step down. I mean, this one's a little all over the place with the color. You kind of lose the essence of the Plague Doctor, so I would give this one B tier. It's not bad, though. Okay, the Samurai ones. These ones are really cool. I would honestly say for the... They're like OG, they're like the original Bloodhound legendary skins. This is an S tier skin. Yeah, I, I like both of them. It's like, even this one. This one, I think, is a little bit of a step down, so I would say A tier for this one, but these skins are sick. And here's a reskin of it, the all white one. It's S tier, let's be honest. Like, it looks clean as hell, dude. Amazing. Sorry, this is poopy colors. This is C tier. This color is not worth it. It's C tier. C tier for crap. It's a good skin besides the color. This skin, and I have memories, dude. This is one of the first, like, this came with, like, the Iron Crown event, I want to say. S tier. I'm gonna give this one S tier. This one, I'm gonna give it S tier as well. The, the protector of the patch, the pumpkin head. This one's amazing. S tier as hell, right? This is one of the few Halloween slash Christmas themed ones that I love rocking. It's it's a it's just such a cool skin. The Intimidator personally don't like it that much, so I would give it low B tier. Honestly, this reskin is beautiful. S tier. Anytime this skin gets recolored into a beautiful choice of color, then it's gonna be S tier. This, if there is a best skin for a legend, this is the best skin. This one represents Bloodhound be when they when Bloodhound first became Bloodhound essentially in the in the in the lore. This one's amazing. S tier as hell. I would give this S plus tier. This is like the rare S plus tier. It's the owl one, right? It's like the wise warrior. I kind of don't like this one. It makes Bloodhound look really short and like stumped down, like slouched. <sighs> it's not bad. I would say it's high B tier. I'm just not a fan of orange. A tier. You know, the other ones have been S tier, but this one's A tier. Orange, like, why would you reskin it to this color, you know? This one's freaking dope. Like, I would give this one S tier. When people saw the skin, they, they knew. It loses the charm that it had. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a B tier, let's be real. This one makes Bloodon's head look stupid big. It looks like their head was inflated. You feel me? Only thing I didn't like about it, and it single-handedly makes it a B tier skin for me. Just a reskin of the owl one. This color is definitely better, but it's still the owl one that makes them look all hunched. So, uh, B tier. It's a dope reskin, but I think I still prefer the original. So, A tier for me. And lastly, purple samurai. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one A tier. Ah, uh, you know, that's not true. This is S tier. This is an S tier reskin. I think, I think the color is beautiful. Purple is very regal. So next, we have caustic. What is this? The Sixth Sense? The Blind Caustic? It's not too transformative of, of otherwise besides the blindfold aspect of it. So I'm gonna give this one an A tier. At least they transformed the color of his hair. And like the color choice here is just really beautiful. I would, it's like A tier, but it's like higher than the last one. So like this is a high A tier for me. I really do like this one as well. I was never a fan of these. I can't explain exactly what I don't like about these skins that much. This is a B tier for me. I like this one a lot more. I think the gold mask is clean. And I think the color choice works better. So I would give this one A tier. Like the gold mask alone looks really cool. Like he looks like such a villain. Uh, this is like a Halloween one. C tier. Like the eyes glowing is a nice touch, but besides that, everything else is pretty meh. Reskin of the other one. Not my favorite reskin. C tier for me, dude. This one, on the other hand, is like ninja caustic. Like ninja caustic. Look at it. Look at it. S tier as hell. I'm sorry. If you see this, you pick this up. You see this in the, in the store, you buy it immediately. This is ninja caustic. I don't hate it. I don't love it. This is a clean B tier for me. There's, a, there's like too much going on. I'm not a fan of things with too much going on, you feel? This one is funny, but I don't like wearing it outside of like Halloween because it's a little too on the nose, you know? Because I don't like wearing outside Halloween time, I'm gonna give it a B tier. Speaking of seasonal skins, like this is a great skin, but I don't see myself really rocking it outside Christmas time. Like I get it, He's, it's Santa claus -tick. you know, it's Santa Claus. But I, in June, in June, come on, low A tier. Uh, D tier for me, dude, this is a D tier, this is doo doo. Now this one is really cool, we got that Darth, Vader was unmasked at the end of uh, Return of the Jedi, and I kind of love it. So I'm giving this one an S tier, dude. I like this one a lot. This is like the Ghostbusters. There's something strange in the caustic hood. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. Is it my favorite skin in the world? Not really. A tier. This one is okay. I know the bright red does look really nice, so I'll give it a B tier for me. Here's the other clown one, and honestly, this is like the Joker vibes more than anything. I like it more than the other clown one, and I can rock it outside of Halloween, so I would give this one A tier. Okay, here's the other clown one. A tier? Kind of gross, but I kind of prefer it over the other clown one that was a little more on the nose. So this one's more menacing for sure. This will be B tier. I, I, that's how I feel about it right now. It's the Sheriff Caustic skin. This one doesn't work for me. I'm going to have to give it a C tier. There are better Sheriff skins out there. This is not it for it. Like, howdy y'all, get out of here, Caustic. Now this one, on the other hand, is sick. He really, really looking like a true tank out here. I would give it A tier. 
That's it for Caustic. Starting first with the hired gun. This one's clean. It's like if Crypto was in the underworld and stuff and was trying to like blend in with like the higher end of society, but you know, he's on the black market side. I would give this one a B tier. This one on the other hand is a little more, a uh, little less subtle. Yeah, a little bit of Yakuza vibes. It's not bad. I'd give it a B tier as well. This one's also B. The Masked Dancer. This is an A tier skin. It's, it's clean. I really do like it. The other version of it is also really good. I'll give this one an A tier. Now this one's a little rule. It's a lot. It's a bit all over the place. It's a bit too much. Oh, I'm giving this one like a B tier. Honestly though, what are those? The vampire one. I hated this one when it came out. I just hated it like it just looks so corny this is gonna be a d tier for me d, d for dracula you know reskin of this of the other one i just i don't like the doo-doo orange that they keep reskinning stuff in c tier ew by far my least favorite crypto skin period so bad on so many levels i don't want to wear this on christmas time f tier this is one of the worst skins period see this is a cool reskin but like once again it got the green screen green like what was the idea putting it so i can like color key my face into crypto's jacket like what was the point it's goofy i would say c tier i love this one it's like the futuristic cyborg crypto i would give this a tier now this one with the mustache with the mustache s tier s tier without a doubt do i have to explain he's got the monocle the mustache hmm, yes say yes S tier. This is like what Jack Frost could have been. Uh, this is definitely an A tier skin. Phenomenal reskin. I love it. I just hate Dracula. And this one's like worse Dracula. D tier. D for Dracula. I also hate this skin. I'm sorry. There's too much going on here. And the lion face does. It's so goofy looking. This is like C tier for me. Oh, this is a reskin of the mustache. It definitely loses the charm of what made the other one S tier. So I would give this one B tier. Viking style crypto. This is a B tier for me. B for Viking. <laughs> Old school crypto, looking like he's working at office, looking looking like he's like he's gonna gym the camera. Like he's gonna look at the camera and be like, I like this one a lot. It, I love what it represents in the lore. I think it's one of the coolest skins they have. So I would say S tier. I love this one a lot. Next we got Fuse. We got the Man of War pirate one with the bandana. I for one really like this skin. Clean A tier for me for this one. But definitely a step down. Definitely like the fact he's a dead pirate. I get it, but I, I uh, the blue. Uh, I'm not as into it, so I'd give this one B. B for blue, da ba dee da ba da, you know? I don't think this one deserved to be a legendary skin. It's not that different from how Fuse normally looks, so I'm gonna give it a C tier. Now, the old man Fuse is funny because he's like old, he's got the gray hair. It's a little bit more of a change from the original Fuse, so I'd give this one a B tier. I like this one a lot. This one's pretty cool, like the robot Fuse with the, the robot hair, robot chin. It's very apex. It's very good that Fuse got this pretty early on. I'm gonna give this one also an A tier though. I don't think it's an S tier skin yet, you know? Cowboy Fuse works. Australian Cowboy Fuse works. S tier, easy S tier. Okay, up first with Gibby, we got the Millennium Tusk. But this is definitely reminiscent of an OG legendary skin because in my opinion, it doesn't really look that legendary. So I'm gonna have to give this one a C tier. Then we got the Dark Side of Gibraltar. It's a little bit cooler. I would give this a low B tier though i still think it's not enough but i do like it i like this one a little bit more got the little i got the got the hard hat on i just smacked my head ow <laughs> beats you for me uh same thing with this one it's a little bit cooler because he has more of like the camo look but still beats your skin for me this is just a millennium tusk recolor the color's nice it was re it is a very very nice color so i'd give it a b tier but this time it's red b tier as well no, nothing it, it's not sparking any joy not sparking any hate call to arms gibby i like this one a lot i like this one a lot Oh man, look at that beard. Look at that powerful beard. A solid jump up from the last ones. Definitely an A tier skin for me. It's the beard for me. I love this Frankenstein's monster Gibby with his shield being like a danger, potential hazard thing. Like everything about the skin works outside of Halloween, during Halloween, whenever. I love it. S tier. S tier, let's go. S for spooky. Just another reskin B tier. The polar bear, Gibby, brother bear, brother bear. My God, everyone loves this skin. Everyone. Do you hear those angels coming down? I think we got ourselves an S plus. Oh my God, it's so bright. Ah, ah. S plus, baby. It's such an iconic skin. Uh, then you got another reskin. God, they gave him like 85,000 reskins. C tier, dude. This one's an ugly reskin, dude. Gibraltron. 
Transformers, Gibbies in disguise. I really like this skin. I'm gonna give it an A tier though. This one's cool. A little too much going for it. <sighs> High beats here. It's not bad. Oh, there's just a lot. Ah, yes. Guy Fieri, Flavor Town skin. I don't love it. I, I, I love making fun of it. I'm gonna give it a, a, a B tier. B for uh, Guy Fieri. This reskin of Gibby's Frankenstein skin is mwah. It's what reskins should be. S tier, easy S tier. This reskin of Gibraltron, S tier. It fixed what the Gibraltron was missing by making him full on robotic. Love this thing, dude. One of the best reskins. By far. Viking, King of the Sea Gibby. I like it a lot, A tier. It's definitely a beautiful skin. <sighs> Samurai Gibby makes me so happy. S tier. S for Samurai, dude. I love this skin, it's so cool. Uh, this is like another reskin, right? B tier. It's, it's fine. This is the Genesis collection one that just came out, right? It shows some more backstory for Gibby because he was like a guy that would save lives and stuff. So I do respect that. And I do love it. So I really do like the skin. I think this is an A tier skin for me. Up next, we got Horizon. Solaris Horizon is meh. B tier. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just there. And we got Terra Nova. Same thing, but it has more of a steampunk aesthetic, so I think it's a solid B. I don't think Horizon has many good skins. Yeah, like Dark Matter, <sighs> I don't like this skin. I just, I don't know, I just not a vibe, the vibe is not there for me. This is a C tier for me, honestly, I'm sorry. Uh, this one as well, I, I, I like it even less, honestly. I'm gonna have to give it a D tier. I don't like what I'm looking at. God, they really did Horizon dirty. I don't think these skins look good at all. This is like a low C tier skin, almost D. Like, I don't like this at all. I don't like the color, I don't like the mohawk thing that she's got going for her. Yikes. And just a reskin. I like the color of her hair in this one, but it's just like I said, I just I don't like these skins, man. Oh my god, they really did her dirty like this. C tier. Ah, but thank God she was redeemed. She was redeemed. One skin is is better than B tier here. This is an A tier skin. I love it. I love the Voltron look. Big fan of it. I'm so glad she has at least one good skin. My lord. And as a lifeline main, I have a lot of hate towards a lot of these skins. It's okay. High C tier. It's a little bit better. I like I think the color choice is a little bit cooler, and it, it really emphasizes like the fact that. She She's a, like a climber and I do like the lore of it. So I would say beats here. Nothing too special, you know? How is this legendary? Look at me in my eyes. How is this legendary? It doesn't make any sense to me. D tier. D tier for don't buy this. It's not a legendary. Same with this one. How is this a legendary skin? It's like a color swap from her default. That's the problem I have with it. Also giving this a D tier. This one's nice. I think your jacket looks even cooler in this one. Low B's here. You know how I feel about these. The color the color changes are nice. It's like a high D tier for me though. It's just like, this should not have been legendary. That's ridiculous. This was the first legendary skin I, I felt good about and I, I paid money for this one because I loved it. S tier. I love the gold. I love the browns. I think this is a very, very, very good skin. This is an S tier skin. Let's be real. I know people love the skin, but I'm, I kind of hate how it looks. It, it looks really different. Like, don't get me wrong. This is a legendary skin. Unlike the other ones that weren't, they couldn't justify being a legendary skin. I just don't like how this one looks. I'm going to give it a B tier because I think it's, it's still pretty cool in general, but it's... It's like a little too extreme for me, you know? A little too scaly, a little too ugly. This one's a lot of fun. This one's like, uh, I do like the aesthetic of this one. I'm not in love with the skin as well. This is like a high B tier for me. Just a reskin, low B tier. Just another reskin, but it's uglier. Give it a big fat D. It's a D. It's nothing too crazy besides the fact that she shows more skin, really. But it's nothing too special. Uh, C tier for me. Oh, came back at it again. S plus. You hear the angels. S plus. This skin is freaking fire. I love this skin. My God. Mwah. And this one's okay. This one's like B tier. This one's sick. A tier. I like this one a lot. The jacket, the face mask with the skull face on it. It's sick. I'm a big fan. But I do like this reskin. I think it's a little bit less cool than the original. So A tier? I'd say A tier is a good place to put that. I think this is an improvement on the devil one. Like the other one looked kind of ugly. I like this one a lot more. I'm going to give this one A tier. Significant improvement on the original. Saloba. The gold standard. I thought this skin was cute. I did rock this skin for a bit. I do like it. She's kind of a badass and I love it. A tier. The bootlegger, A tier. It's the stripes. Looks really good on her. God, I love you, Loba. <laughs> 
and we got Purple Rain. So this skin looks a lot like Sombra, and I think the comparisons to Sombra were uncanny when when she was first announced and the skin was dropped. I think it looks worse than Sombra. I think it's a little all over the place. Don't get me wrong, Loba looking fine as hell no matter what. However, I'm not in love with this skin, and so I'm gonna be giving it low B tier. You feel? This one's definitely a little bit better. Solid B tier. I didn't love this skin. There's a lot going on in this in this outfit, in this skin. So I'm not like the biggest fan of it. I get if you like it, but it's not my favorite. So B tier is shiny, shiny Loba. I don't know why I like this skin so much. A tier. I'm be real with you guys. She looks so good in this everywhere. My God, S tier. <laughs> Don't even, do I gotta explain? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Petty Theft, I like this one a lot. I think it's also an S tier skin as well. I think it looks really cool. I love her jacket and stuff. Next up we have Mirage. It really captures like the essence of Mirage, but like, it's like, imagine his suit, but upgraded. So I'm gonna give this one A tier. I really like the skin. This one's a step down for me. I think it's the bright yellow because it fits his like aesthetic that makes more sense. This one doesn't really fit his like actual characters. And so it just comes off like futuristic Mirage, but in a less cool way. So like B tier. I, I wasn't a fan of these skins when they, when they when he first dropped C tier. Same with this one. This one's even worse, honestly. Low C tier for this one. Oh, this reskin is clean. That is a good color combo. A tier. That's a good reskin. You, you do you, Mirage. Mirage looking good in this fit, dude. This reskin is not good. This is, oh, I don't, I don't like this at all. It's low C tier. Not a fan. We got Captain Mamboozle. We got Pirate Mirage, essentially. It's sick. A tier. I like this. Do you hear the angels coming? S plus! Plus. Do I even have to explain it, dude? Yeah, they know why. They know why. You know why. The pit crew. Uh, the color's a lot better than the other ones, so I would actually make, put this a high C tier. It justifies its legendary status. The Nutcracker. It's a perfect example again where I like the Christmas skins. I don't like wearing them year round, but I do like the skin a lot. I would give this one high B tier. The Iron Man skin. When this one came out, this reskin came out, people were like, he looks like Iron Man, and I have to agree. S tier, dude. If anyone is going to be Tony Stark, it's going to be Mirage. Pretty solid skin overall. Low A tier. Fool's Gold is Mirage with the bigger beard and the mustache but otherwise it's a very okay legendary skin i would say b the seafoam swindle is pretty beautiful a tier it looks good that's a good color on him I like it a lot boogie down is so funny dude this is like if mirage was a porn star like he has a million dollar mansion like the mirage voyage didn't crash this is like the timeline this is the parallel universe where where mirage the mirage voyage did not crash and he's and he's the most successful man in the world i would give this one a tier i like the pencil mustache i'm biased towards mustaches okay get over it i don't like this skin that much b tier not as cool as the pirate one honestly so i would say like low b tier the other cowboy it tried to like be as cool as the original cowboy one and don't get me wrong it is really cool i won't lie it's pretty it's really cool i would say high a tier i think the, the other cowboy one is better oh my god i'm pretty confident octane has pure s tier skins i like this one um i'm gonna give el diablo a tier this one is c tier and i'm so sorry about that guys it's the receding hairline for me like look at that these ones are fun i love it i love that he's like rocking the mo the motocross like skin looking like a mozzie from rainbow six a tier same thing like it's just a motocross one like uh, the color is a little dull but it's like a low a tier high b redshift is a good reskin of the el diablo one it makes him look even more like the devil a tier as well this one's pretty sick i like the purple a tier skin i like the purple the purple yellow is nice i'm a lakers fan so that works out the jade tiger this one is sick it's an a tier skin oh i don't like this one i'm sorry i know people are like i love this one and like i don't i don't like it i don't like it that much at all it's a cool design but it's just so gross looking c tier here. Don't like how that face looks. This is an S tier skin. This is such a good Christmas skin. Octane the Red Nose Junkie. You guys know why. I like this one. I do think this one is pretty cool. Not my personal favorite. So B tier, like high B tier. Receding hairline strikes again. And I don't like the color either. This is a D tier skin. I'm sorry, Octane. I didn't think you would have a D tier skin, but this one's just not it for me, dude. What is this skin? C tier. XL R8. A tier for this one. I like this one. Hot shot. A tier. Those colors are nice on the on, on Octane. Sonic Boom, it's B tier. Fast fashion is an easy S tier. I think the hair looks clean, the visor being gold, like his golden robot legs look sick. I love this skin. This is an S tier skin easily. El Tigre. It's a little bit better than Jade Tiger. A tier. Oni Shadow. A tier for this one for sure. This one's clean as hell. That's a great recolor. Wild Speed. It's Octane as a furry. B 
beats here. Up next, we got Pathfinder. Classic Angel City Pathfinder. It's obviously different in that he's got them thick cheeks, you know, down there, but B tier. Same thing with this one. I don't like it as much as the other one. This is C tier for me. Okay, I like this like old school steampunk aesthetic that, that's going on here. I like this one a lot. This is A tier. Same thing with this one. I think this one's just as good. And because of the color, it seems like it's like an old school version of Pathfinder. So A tier. This is one of the first skins to come out and like you get it for free as long as you had Prime and stuff, right? Very happy with this one. B tier still though. It's just nothing too special besides the color. Bot of gold. It's more poopy color than gold. B tier. The green machine, aka the green menace. Oh yeah. This is an A tier skin. I like this one a lot. So far, no S tiers yet though. War machine is clean. I like this one a lot. I love how different his face looks and stuff. I'm gonna say S tier. This one's a really good skin. The iced out one is pretty cool. A tier. It's a little, it's a lot going on. I think it's awesome. It's not my favorite, so A tier. This one felt a little half-assed. C tier. It's the mustache. It's the bow tie. It's the fact that he looks like he's wearing a suit. S tier. Almost S plus, but no, just S tier. It's amazing. Pole position. The green menace for strikes again. Not as cool as the other one though, so C tier. What is with Apex wanting me to be color keyed into the skin? What is that about? You know, just does, it doesn't make sense to me. I would have loved this skin if it wasn't for the fact that he just looks so thick everywhere. I don't know, it doesn't really fit the the hitbox frame in my head of what Pathfinder is, and it kind of sucks. Yeah, low B tier for me. Wave Racer, C tier, nothing special about it. This skin is amazing. Oh god, the angels. S plus! Yeah, this, skin, this skin's incredible, dude. Oh, I don't love this skin. B tier. The Memoir Noir. I think Pathfinder may be the first ever person to have two S Plus! Amazing. I'm glad that this skin exists. It just looks so good on him. It loses the charm of the butler look that the other one had, so I'm gonna have to say B tier. I hated this skin when it first came out. I still don't like it. It's just too much going on. C tier. C tier. They don't have a good picture for this. The Burgundy Knight. It's pretty cool. It's probably just as cool as the other one. So like, I would say A tier. Mechameleon. I like this one a lot. A tier. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. Next up, we got Rampart. Premium finish. I don't see what makes this so different than her default enough to justify it being a legendary. You feel me? So C tier for me. The devil you know. Low B. Heritage Pride is cool. She's wearing like her Saudi. I like it. I love it actually. A tier for this one. Saudi not Saudi. I like this one a lot as well. A little bit less than the other ones. So I'd say low A tier. The Death Dealer. It It is cool. Very King's Canyon-esque. Not my favorite still, so high B tier. And the Crafty Custom. This is her best skin in my opinion. I do like it. I like the wolf part. I like the headband bandana. I think it looks really clean. But still then, even then, A tier. Yeah, Rampart doesn't even have an S tier skin. Next up we got Revenant. First you got Shadow of the Sun. I love this skin. I would say A tier for this one. High A tier for, for Bird of Prey. And this came out, people got excited because it's like, God, Revenant really is like the devil, you know? And it's like... This is so biblically scary. I love how he looks. S tier. I think this one's a, a big step down. The color does not work. B tier for this one. It, it feels like that, you know? This one's like the watermelon afterlife. It's funny because it looks like he really does look like a watermelon, but that's not my favorite. B tier for this one. The relic of death is so cool. I would say A tier. Death proof. The hood. Also an A tier one for me. Not. It's not blowing me away. Like it's not knocking my socks off. Forged Knight is goofy looking, but I love that his face is a skeleton. Also an A tier skin. Oh, the Frost Ancient Revenant is a perfect example of a Christmas themed skin that works year round. S tier. Oh, I love this skin. Yeah, S tier for sure on this one. Sacred Divinity. Uh, It's also like another hooded one. They seem to be giving them hoods on a lot of these. A tier. It's a good skin. I do like it. The Blood Ritual. It's a reskin of the of the, uh, the Relic one, but I think it's a lot worse because it really accentuates how big his head is. <laughs> B tier. A Gaze Eternal Revenant. I didn't like all the faces that much, honestly. I would have to give it a B tier. I'm sorry. This is a B tier for me, dog. Ah. Maybe it's more recency bias because this just came out, but okay, I hear it now. It's definitely S plus. 
love it. I love it. I love it. That is all of Revenants. Valkyrie, she has like no skins. This will be quick. This one's amazing. She looks like a Gundam. S tier. Don't even come at me. I love this skin. S tier. She's a freaking Gundam. The military one is a step down for me. I do think it still looks cool. I'd say it's A tier. The golden Valkyrie. I like this one a lot. This is definitely an A tier aesthetic for sure. Azure Blessing is honestly A tier for this one as well. I am a Titanfall fanboy, so you know. You know what I gotta do. Do you guys hear that? The angel sounds again. S plus. So good. Might just be recency bias again, but my god, this one's so good. S tier. My lord, this skin is so good. My baby girl Watson. Okay, so you got Ace of Sparks. It's okay. Nothing too special, so I would say B tier. Same with this one, but I think it's a downgrade, so I'm gonna have to give it a C tier, dude. Generic. Emphasis on the C. <laughs> I think this one's really cool. I think this is a high B tier skin though, because I think the other one's a lot better. This one I think is a little bit cooler. I'm gonna give this one A tier. I honestly think this one is sick. Good reskin, but it's still like a low B for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This one is fun. The Warrior Empress. Ah, she's such a cutie. It's good. It's not my favorite. <sighs> I would probably give it an B. I'm leaning more towards B. Oh, I hate this one. Ooh, this is not a reskin I like at all. C tier. C tier for can't look at that. Stocking stuffer. I want to talk about this one. I wasn't a big fan of getting stocking stuffer. A little corny, a little cringe, honestly. C for cringe. C for Christmas cringe. C tier. Vaporwave is a decent color redesign. High C tier. Silver Age is nice. I think this one's really fun. I would say low eights here. Cyberpunk is fun, but I'm not really into it. The horns are a little extra. I would say beats here. Ruby Jealous. This one's kind of a cool reskin. I would say beats here as well for this one. The Outland Explorer is such a cute one. I love her to death. This one is high eights here. Not S though. I think it's a high eights here skin. I love it. Nothing's really sparking that like S tier joy. You feel me? Like the Wired for Speed one makes her look like Thomas the Tank engine which is funny but besides that it's a very okay skin like b too much going on all the time b no step down b tier the chaos conductor i don't love it it's too much going on i'm gonna have to give this high b last but certainly not least we got wraith Wraith time. Ah, the classic TTV Wraith. The classic ball headed Wraith that's gonna kill you and put you back into the lobby. S tier, dude. I'm sorry. It's like it's iconic. You can't help it. It's this is the this is the TTV Wraith. Yeah, Vengeance Sinker's just as cool. I love the bald headed Wraith. Actually, this one's a little bit worse. Like the other one actually has more of like a lore aesthetic to it. I would actually say this is A tier. Quarantine 722 is pretty meh. Honestly, B tier. Void special is a little bit cooler because it's pink but still same thing. It doesn't feel like any, it doesn't feel like it deserves to be a legendary skin. They just slap the mask on her face and we're like, that's legendary now. I would say low eights here, high B. Airship Assassin, people love this skin because of how rare it was. But besides that, they're, that's the only thing that they think is so, is so cool about it. Low eights here. Flashpoint's cool, man. I love the blue that leads into the white over here. It's like the, the hairdo and stuff. I think it's cool. I know people don't like the bald headed raid skins. A T for this one, Night Terror. I love this skin. I love, I love how like this, like, the OG like King's Canyon aesthetic as well here. I would give this one A tier though. I don't, it's not my favorite of Wraith skins. I think she has some banger skins that come up later. Protector of the Void. It's a fun skin. I think it's an easy A tier. Ah, uh, yeah. Void Walker got the whole freaking cinematic about it. It is pretty badass. I think it's time for a quick little S plus, baby. Yeah, no, this skin is sick. I know this skin is cool, but this is one of those Halloween skins where I don't like rocking it outside of Halloween. It's great. It represents the Wicked Witch of the West so well. So for that, I will give it A tier, but I don't like ever wearing it outside of Halloween. So for that, I will give it B tier. It's a good skin though. The Final Sunset, another TTV skin, like low A tier. Perfect Soldier. I like Perfect Soldier a lot. I really like this skin. I think this is a high A tier skin. Uh, it's a reskin of the other one. That's, I don't love this reskin that much. Kind of just emphasize how weird her shorts look honestly B tier yeah i don't like this reskin that much death's in the void it's just a reskin B tier if it wasn't for the fact that this skin had like a glitch on drop i feel like people would have loved it a lot more honestly s tier ah the void prowler the cat skin it's good 
but like I'm not a furry, you feel me? So I'd probably give it like low A, high B. Ooh, it's the witch, but her skin isn't green like the Wicked Witch anymore. It's a little bit cooler, honestly. I actually kind of like this. I'd say low eights here. Ah, oh, the high class wraith. I think her hair looks so goofy. And uh, Maybe that's just me. I would probably give it like a B. The Risen Queen. Oh, I like the Egyptian vibes. I like it. This is honestly a pretty good skin. I, I would say A tier. Definitely, definitely an A tier skin here. Big fan of this one for sure. Ah, the Phase Walker. This one is so clean, bro. This may be the first time a skin and it's reskin get an S plus. It's so clean, dude. I can't help it. It's just such a beautiful skin, dude. This is definitely an improvement. I do think the Golden Cat is a bit better than the original cat. So I'd say A tier for this one. So this is a good reskin as well. A, like high A, like high A tier for, for this one. I like this one a lot. Well, what an improvement these reskins really are. Oh, the Demon Whisperer Wraith. I have mixed feelings about this one. I do think that the mask thing is cool. I just wish, why not just put on the mask? Has she been able to wear the mask? S tier, without it, low A tier. You feel me? So yeah, that is all the skins. We finally did it. So let's talk about who had the worst skins, okay? I would say the person with the best skins per capita. <laughs> Valkyrie has the best skins overall. She only has six skins, but they're all eight AS tier. The person with the worst skins by far was unfortunately, it seemed like Horizon had the worst skins. Not many of them, but they're all pretty bad. Poor Horizon really got shafted here. That was a ton of fun, guys. I had a blast. I will catch you all later.